Yeah, it's fine. People think this COVID will stop yeah. what what you're doing, but it should not. No, I stop think it's you an from opportunity. your dream, yeah. from traveling. I mean, you should take it this way as well. You just lose. You lose. <laughs> Right? You yeah, so you, you either go for it, go for or it. you just stay in the same... Yeah, have the, have the mentality life. of driving forward. forward yes. I think that's important. Hi, my name is Sonia Mueller. I'm from Swiss ADU. We are specializing in further education, especially in hospitality business. Uh, today, we are here in a beautiful TPC uh, golf course in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And we're blessed to have three students of ours here to share their story and their personal experiences with you. Um, one of them is the master's, going for his master's program, and two would be the alumni that already graduated from the bachelor degree. All right, let's go. That's why we want to we want to show that to yeah. the young. You know, we're meeting a lot of like mm. high school students, mm. 17, 18 years old. They're even more confused now than mm. when we met you. You yeah. know, I mean, it's, it's so different because yeah. of now COVID. Yeah. Parents are scared. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like you said, don't be scared. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Yeah, yeah. and LaRoche actually knew logo is be fearless. Okay. You know, so okay. it's it's so fitting to to now okay, okay. what what's going on around the world. Yeah. So this is what it's very good encouragement yeah. for the kids. So what are your future plans? Well, I'm currently I'm um, still in doing my own business, um, running it, and of course. Exploring other opportunities, uh, we have also expanded into different avenues of uh, okay. industries as well in um, food and beverage ingredients. We're doing alternative sugar, so of course you see how the Roche has helped us. <laughs> yeah, right in terms of you food see, and you beverage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Yeah, everybody's into this wellness health yeah. thing yeah. now, so I think that's good yeah. that you got into that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, business is also helping in industry, right? So we wanted to combine yeah. stuff like that. So, I mean, looking at the younger generation now, right, what, what is the advice you want to, further advice you want to give them? Because, you know, after COVID, things are going to change. Yes, for sure. So, what, what do you think they should get into I think right now? forward thinking, yeah. COVID will definitely go away or somehow be managed in a proper right. limelight, I would say. And everyone wants to travel. Take it or leave it. Everyone wants, I want to leave right now. <laughs> yes, Wherever I can, can buy, I can definitely, I want to go, right? <laughs> Hospitality will be an industry that will definitely revive maybe in the next year or two, I don't know. Yeah. But let's give, you, give or take those who graduate in three years is the perfect time. Yeah. And how are you going to reach different people? I would say it's through, through marketing. Yeah. And I definitely thought that La Roche just recently had a, um, a course with a digital marketing for hospitality. Yeah. So thinking of this, you don't really need to think about getting into hospitality, doing hotel, whatever. Maybe you have the opportunity to start your own business, doing a digital marketing um, industry for, for hotels. Right. And think about it this way, you could create an application, a mobile app, Which is such a, a, travel, a Travelpedia or an Ex Expedia or whatever to shoot off yourself into a different um, category with your peers in terms of, hey, I'm starting my own business, I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. And, and everyone is doing this right now. There's so many ways to create your own means in terms of business. And digital marketing right now is definitely one to look at. To look at. Yeah, and, and I think, of course, this year is very tough, mm -hmm. right? But next year, a lot of hotel companies, yep. the corporate companies are looking positive. Correct, correct. And they're opening up again yep. for interns, right? right? I mean, I'm, yeah. I want to do my own thing with the hospitality industry right now. You know, like by creating an application, I believe it will help a lot of people who want to travel. I'll use it. And now fly. <laughs> yeah, it's like people think this COVID will stop. Yeah. What What you're doing, but it should not. No, I think stop it's you an from opportunity. Your dream, yeah. From traveling. I mean, you should take it this way as well. In Cantonese, there's a, a saying: when there's a pitfall, a pitfall, there's always an opportunity. Yeah. Right. So we always look at the, the positive the, side, the positive side yeah. of, of of these kind of things, right? Although right now we see. Things are going down, things are being bad, but there is an opportunity. Take this time to plan. To plan, I think exactly, that is, yeah. that's key. Because yeah. a lot of students that we meet, they're ready with the application, mm -hmm. right? But to say, oh, they want to wait and see. Mm -hmm. what, what what, do you say to that? To students, you know, I mean, I mean wait and see for what can, exactly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you just lose, you lose, <laughs> yeah. right? You yeah, so you, lose, you either right? go for it go for or it. you just stay in the same yeah. Have the Have the mentality life. of driving forward. forward yes. I think that's important. Okay. That's so I mean, during my time at, in La Roche, I met a friend who is Mexican. 
Okay. He's a very, very good friend of mine till today. Good. He, he himself, I think, be, when we graduated, La Roche actually created an award after him. It was called Hector Lugo Award or something like that. Why? Because his determination has brought him to many places within La Roche. Till today, he is the director of food and beverage in uh, Mandarin Oriental in Barcelona. So you imagine what he has brought. And he's always, he's always said uh, one key thing to us as peers. Give you 110 percent. So I live and die by that right now because of it, right? So you you guys motivate yeah, each other, right? Which is what Leroy is all about. Yeah. We're we're all about being close to each other. The network that we created was something that I, I truly cherish. I really do. Yeah. I, I still think about the days. Yeah. I mean, too. we are so yeah. <laughs> we complete big gap between yeah. us, right? But we still had different yes. good experience. I had a lot of Mexicans too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mexicans, Norwegians. Yeah, um, really. Yeah, yeah, know, like it's just like my class no 20 nationalities. Yeah. So what is the best experience you would take out of La Roche? The one thing that... The people, the people that I've met. Yeah. That's, that's more than anything. Yeah. Maybe one day we will go visit. Yeah. Then. I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Brendan. Welcome. It's really amazing that you shared. Thank you. Thank you for us. Oh, thank you to you guys for bringing me there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys, I wouldn't have this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we were consulting yeah. and talking to you and your yeah. parents for yeah. years. Yeah. 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 We're so happy to be here. Thank you.